tell us about the transformation that has happened in the pronunciation of the alphabet of words in Kerala? It is a very difficult question, but I shall try to answer. People think that uh, the terms Mamodisa, Slosa, Karososa, Kandisha, Pumba, Ranga, etc. are wrong. Not wrong. Please follow the early chapters of the advanced grammar of Father, uh, Father Thomas Arethanan or Father Emmanuel Thirdly. When Father Emmanuel Thirdly went to teach Surya in Baghdad years ago, evidently an honor for the Thomas Christian to teach the mother tongue of the Babylonians. He was teased by some of the younger generation like that, telling that his pronunciation is wrong. But some elderly deacons from Alakos came to the help of Father Manadali. They corrected the young fellow countrymen and said, You are wrong. Father Emmanuel is following the pre-14th century pronunciation. You have changed the pronunciation of the race after the 14th century. So if Father Tredli follows the pre-14th century pronunciation, I feel you don't understand it. this. You have to be corrected. Wow. And in some portions in, in Russia, the present day Iran, they had a different pronunciation. Whenever I put a dot, we do to pronounce Sir, if it is wrong, why you call Athurians Assyrians? There the Tav is used. Oh. Tav soft is called uh, Assyrians. That means the, it is the pronunciation of Kerala people that is to be adopted by the Syriac Grammarians elsewhere. Wow. Or another example, ah. from the south of Iraq and Iran, there is a community which is called Mandaeans who immigrated to America, Canada and Australia recently. They were practically unknown to the outside world uh, before the 20th century. They trace their origin to the followers of John the Baptist. Evidently, a Jewish pagan group somehow associated with the followers of John the Baptist and they, we know from the second century AD, they had a different dialect of Aramaic called Mandaeans. Where from the term Mandaeans come? Where from the N, N sound come? It is not from Sri. But the term which they use is Mandad Haye. And in for the European pronunciation, it is Madad Haye. Why the language is called Mandaeans? Thousands of people speak this language even today. So in if you go to ancient Akkadian, as another pre-biblical Mesopotamian language, you find the same example. So why for where from the Christians in Kerala got the second century BC pronunciation or second century early pronunciation and pre 14th century pronunciation. Evidently, it is an indication that we had some connection with the pre Syriac, pre developed, pre Christian Aramaic dialects. And this pronunciation is to be sought not in the AD era but in the BC era. Where from? Not from the Christians, we got it. But the Jewish people, maybe they came through Alcos, maybe they came through Urmia or Iran. So that pronunciation is particular, it has to be preserved. Father Emmanuel, while you were in Baghdad, yeah. did you find a difference in the way they enunciate Syriac language and the way you did. Did they appreciate that or? See, there, there, there were deacons who knew Syriac well who were reciting the, can, the canonical prayer and so on. Huh. And they, some of them, one of them asked me why I recite this Melsa and so on. And, and then one of them said, no, we were also using this in Alkosh and other places. So our pronunciation was correct. But they had later changed.